Is it just me, or is every movie nowadays a sequel or a remake? A remake or a sequel? A sequel or a remake? As a writer, I was starting to get discouraged. Then it hit me. If you can't beat them, join them. All I needed was the right source material. So I went right on down to Best Buy and bought Hard to Kill, part of the Steven Seagal double feature for $7.99. Now in case you don't remember, Hard to Kill tells the story of Detective Mason Storm, who wakes up from a coma to avenge the death of his wife seven years earlier. Which he does, by bullet. <laughs> By Jeep, by Grenade, by more glass, and by Pool Cue. It was obvious I made the right decision. But now I had some thinking to do. A sequel or a remake? A sequel would be awesome because you could see what Mason Storm's up to nowadays. Is he still cracking heads and dealing one-liners? I'm gonna take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. Or maybe a remake. But who else could possibly pull off the iconic role of Mason Storm? I knew what I had to do. I had to create an entirely new genre of film. The Reaper. Enter Hard to Kill Pete. So Hard to Kill Pete starts off the same way as Hard to Kill. In fact, we use the same footage. You better dial 911. But this time, we tell the story of this guy, Pete. So in 1991, Pete's a struggling writer working away at a blockbuster. Then one night, he crosses paths with Storm, and the bad guys come to his house, shoot him, and send him into a coma instead. Until he can give us some answers. The better he is, the safer he is. By the time he wakes up in 2014, there's only one person who knows he's alive. That's right, Detective Mason Storm. And while Pete thinks he's getting his life and writing career back on track, Storm has some very different plans. Hard to kill Pete. It's gonna change the way movies are remade. <laughs>